I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Tough start to the week for stock markets. We saw more market valuation drops today with the TSX, the Bay Street benchmark, falling to its lowest level in two years. The Dow Jones is at its lowest level in eight months. That market benchmark has dropped 6% over the past five trading days. Lots of things going wrong to end the year from a market perspective. Worries about U.S.-China trade relations. What with the uh, new wrinkle in that and the uh, recent arrest of the chief financial officer of Huawei of China. And then today we had British Prime Minister Theresa May looking to avoid an embarrassing defeat on the uh, Brexit vote, which was scheduled for tomorrow. That has been indefinitely postponed. So it could have the British negotiators going back to the European Union to try to work out some new type of divorce arrangement for all intents and purposes, or they could just split with no deal in place. You add that to the market uncertainty and you had a pretty big decline for stocks to start the trading week. And then we've got Apple. It was one time, not that long ago, the world's most valuable company at its peak, $1.1 trillion in market value, a stock price that was at $232 at the start of October today hit $165 per share. So uh, uh, the worst case scenario according to Citigroup is a bottoming out at 125 bucks. Lots of concern about Apple and the unknown how many iPhones will be sold for the holiday sale season. Could Elon Musk be a savior for some of those General Motors plants that are scheduled to be shut down at the end of next year? That was something that was uh, an idea raised, at least, in an interview with 60 Minutes on Sunday night, where the CEO of Tesla was asked about the prospects of perhaps the electric car company buying one, if not all, of those uh, planned General Motors plants that are going to be mothballed. He said it's in the realm of possibility because Tesla's been looking for uh, production expansion. In fact, it's actually got a tent city set up around its uh, plant in California where they had to build temporary production lines for the new Model 3. Well first Lyft, now Uber. Ride hailing services could be the big initial public stock sales in 2019. Reports indicating that Uber filed its paperwork with the Securities and Exchange Commission for a stock sale in the first quarter of next year, uh, just a couple of days back. Lyft also filed paperwork with the SEC. These companies could be worth billions if not hundreds of billions of dollars. Uber's latest market valuation north of 120 billion US. And over the course of this week we'll be watching the mortgage market specifically whether or not the big banks start to adjust some of their longer term mortgage rates lower. We've been seeing bond yields fall to multi-month lows following the most recent signals from the Bank of Canada perhaps keeping interest rates on hold for the next several months. From the 680 newsroom I'm Mike Apple for City News.